The Society of Women Accountants in Nigeria, SWAN, Ibadan Chapter, held a grand investiture ceremony to induct its eighth chairperson alongside the inauguration of new executive members. The event was marked by a significant lecture titled Empowering Financial Stability and Resilience, emphasizing the importance of financial independence among women. Chief David Sin, Chizoka Alari Bay, and the representative of the Royal Father of the Day, Lisa Odo Kingdom, High Chief Simeon Ogutimei, expressed their confidence in the new leadership. They encouraged the newly inducted chairperson and her team. Is that as women, they should continue to evangelize education. If, when you educate a woman, you educate a nation. So the women, they are just very thorough in anything they do. But we ask the women, they should also talk to the boys. Because if the boys begin to lag behind, then we have women who are educated, and the men are not, and there will be problem in the society. So my message is that they should continue to evangelize, talk about education, continue to sell the ICANN brand, and be good ambassadors of ICANN. I really congratulate her, and thank her, you know, and the Pondo Kingdom, where she comes from, for having done us proud. You know, she has not let us down, and we wish her very well in this her new office. Dr. Mrs. Comfort Olue Itayo, the guest speaker, highlighted the crucial role of financial stability for women. What we are encouraging our members as women accountants to do is to be in a position to help their clients, their customers, as well as making their own businesses to weather through the storm, to be able to withstand the shock. And how do you withstand the shock? It's about strategic planning, and that plan also must be flexible. You look at what is going on and be able to amend it where necessary, and then make sure that you stay up the curve. The National Chairperson of Swan, Queen Mother Ida Ozo, and the outgoing Chairperson of Swan, Royal State Chapter, Queen Mother Omokemi Oladipo, offered valuable advice to the newly inducted Chairperson. I wish her a successful time in office. I wish that the wisdom, knowledge, and God will be with her. And then she'll be able to take necessary decisions and also be able to add value to humanity through SWAN. Um, of course, she should um, actually find a way to ensure that she brings all these women together. You know, we have um, emotional differences, we have psychological differences, and uh, she needs to understand each and every person according to their situation and then bring them together and make it make their life a better one. In her acceptance speech, Shiliola Adebusola Akibowale expressed her gratitude for the trust placed in her leadership. She outlined her vision for her tenure, which will focus on seven strategic pillars. My administration will be anchored on seven key pillars, which includes empowerment, collaboration, membership, growth, innovation, digital presence and infrastructure development. Also community um, support is also inclusive. I want Swan Ibadan chapter to grow. I want the membership to grow. So we'll be reaching out to all the um, members of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria who are in Ibadan, but they are yet to identify with Swan. We reach out to them to ensure that Swan Ibadan chapter is growing. We also ensure that we empower our members. The vestigial ceremony was followed by a dinner party where members of the society, guests and families gathered to celebrate. The evening featured award presentations and other highlights. Taiwo Olari Waju, Impact Business Radio News.